buy Dogecoin right now. Well, don't buy Dogecoin right now because it's almost at 10 cents, but you should buy Dogecoin. Hanoi around the new year or around the lunar new year is quite a ghost town. Now, you guys have found out that I'm a crypto trader when you guys see the apps on my phone. So I've seen some comments about, I see you buy crypto and you fly drones. And that seems like something that you guys are interested in. I have been buying and selling cryptocurrency now uh, since like 2018, 2017, right when Bitcoin took the huge jump and I have had money in it for a while. I'm not a crypto expert, but I did buy Dogecoin when it was under three cents and right now it's hovering at around eight or nine cents, which is why you shouldn't buy it. But if you guys wanna give me one Dogecoin because you like my channel, I'll have my wallet for Dogecoin in the description down below. Now, maybe one of the number one reasons that people have been wondering about Dogecoin and cryptocurrency in general lately is that Bitcoin is about to go ahead and reach the $50,000 mark. And on top of that, uh, Elon Musk said that Bitcoin will be an accepted currency for people that want to buy Teslas in the future. Now, it's needless to say that investing in cryptocurrency can be quite a risky thing to do. And it's something that, honestly, if you're gonna invest money into cryptocurrency without doing a ton of research, you should essentially think of it as money down the drain. That being said, there are places that you can find value and there are things that are going to inherently continue to rise in value. Now, before you can go ahead and start buying and selling, or I should say trading crypto, you need to get your fiat currency into the market. There's quite a few ways to get fiat currency into the crypto market. But the safest and most secure way, if you're living in America, would be to use something like Coinbase now. Coinbase is kind of like the OG service for those in America. There's other services around the world that allow you to get your fiat currency into cryptocurrency. Or if you have a friend that has a bunch of cryptocurrency, you could just pay that person in cash and have them send those coins. And have them send those coins just directly into your crypto wallet to get you started. It's a cool little temple and the lady just came to open up as I was walking by filming. One of the important things about crypto, if you're gonna be buying and selling these cryptocurrencies, and it's something that I encourage you to do, even if you don't necessarily care about like the technology within the, the cryptocurrency, the blockchain, the ledger, the stuff being open source, um, learn a little bit about the coins that you're going to invest in or the coins that you want to purchase and the technology behind them. There's some really cool projects going on in the digital space like Tron. Uh, Tron is a coin that is essentially helping push forward uh, like streaming services and digital asset management to content creators such as myself. There's formats or platforms like Steam. Steam is a social media network that has a full-blown YouTube competitor that's based on blockchain. And you can actually earn cryptocurrency from using the social media service. It's a social media service I've been using for years but have never really talked about much. And what I mean by that is that cryptocurrency is an asset. It's a uh, type, it's a unit of exchange that more and more I think tech companies are going to be embracing. I think that more and more users are going to be embracing. The fact that I can bring my money from Vietnam to America or from America to Vietnam without having to pay all the kinds of transfer fees and stuff like that means that's more convenient. That said, I lost 50 bucks last week because I put a wrong address in between uh, when I moved money in my account. So there's a learning curve to it kind of the same way there's a learning curve with regular money. So this is something that I wanted to talk about, I wanted to acknowledge since so many people have been bringing it up. If you guys have cryptocurrency and you guys want to send me some crypto, um, that would be cool. I would love, and until next time, peace.